and drinking is never a good idea. We've all done it, and we've all regretted it. The drunken texts you forgot you sent. Prospectors collected them in Texticated on Rock 107. From area code 308, Grand Island, Nebraska. I just walked in on my mom and dad, and it wasn't my dad. From area code 440, Parma, Ohio. I'm too stoned to be pregnant. The kicking is Morris code for wanting beef jerky. You hit send, and we hit the floor laughing. In Texticated. On Rock 107. From the 949 Irvine, California. Babe, the four years we've been together have been amazing. Will you marry me? Reply from 949. Are you seriously doing this over text? And the original texter, ha ha, no, but I am dumping you. Proof that booze and cell phones don't mix. In Texticated on Rock 107. Area code 843, Charleston, South Carolina. Got arrested for breaking and entering last night. I went to the wrong house and made a sandwich. Oh, and I missed work this morning and got fired. From the 859 Lexington, Kentucky. I get so lonely sometimes, I set my phone's alarms to go off every five minutes or so and imagine people are texting me. Hey, we found them in your telephone. In Texticated on Rock 107. Breaking the news that's already broken. It's time for Prospector's Briefs on Rock 107. A list of America's least desirable jobs is out, topping the list. Publicist for P. Diddy. The Tropicana Hotel Towers came tumbling down around 2.30 a.m. Wednesday morning in Vegas. First casino controlled explosive demolition since 2016 in the city. Vegas residents were glad to see something in the city collapse besides the Raiders' offense. A new survey says that 80% of Americans fear World War III is possible. Even worse, 100% of Americans fear that Joker III is possible. Making sure breaking news stays broken. Tune in tomorrow for Prospector's Briefs on Rock 107. Will this excite you or bum you out? I don't know. Let's find out. It's the Prospector Show on Rock 107. And Kate, you told me about this a few days ago, and you were pumped. Oh, yes, I was. Spirit Halloween stores pop up in the late summer in abandoned Toys R Us and Bed Bath Beyond and all those locations. Yeah. And then they disappear a couple months later. But this year, there's a twist. Ten Spirit Hall uh, Halloween locations are going to switch over to Christmas stores. Oh, yeah. They'll be having holiday inflatables, holiday decor, apparel, stocking stuffers. You can get photos with Santa, a life-size gingerbread village, and some letter writing to the North Pole. Woo! <laughs> it's all exciting to you. The 10 locations are only in the northeast of the U.S. for now, but it's a test, okay. which can expand across the country in the future years if it works out. Now, so far, none in PA. Closest we get, New Jersey. Uh, so not sure if it's worth the drive, but maybe a hit hot dog Johnny's on the way back mm. and make it worth it. Now you're know. thinking. Mm -hmm. The company says Spirit Christmas is a new concept, and we're hope hopefully will resonate with our customers. Our goal is to create a festive retail experience that captures the spirit of the season, much like we do for Halloween. Okay. I think that's all right. Uh, they might be pushing a little too far, though, because like, maybe next year it's like Spirit MLK Day, <laughs> uh, Spirit Valentine's, Spirit St. Patrick's, Spirit Easter, which I can see some of those. Well, all I'm going to say is Spirit Christmas, when Christmas Spirit was right there. <laughs> they blew it. It was right there. You guys had the best one, and you walked away from it. It's time now for Prospector's Naffirmations. Now, affirmations are just sayings you can repeat to yourself over and over to help you get through the day. Complaining won't change your reality, but it sure lets others know how they've wronged you. Stay tuned for more Prospector's Now Affirmations on Rock 107. He may not have the best sense of humor. I don't get it. But whoever hired him did. Okay, you got the job. Prospector. Mornings on Rock 107. It's time to have a little fun on the phones. Good morning. I'm Rock 107's Prospector. I uh, got an email from a guy named Travis who said, Hey, Prospector, I'd love for you to prank call my brother. Um, the only thing I can think of is I just gave him my punch card to uh, the restaurant and let him go and get my sub for free. So he got my free sub. 
Uh, maybe you could use that. And I thought, yeah, I could definitely use that. So we're going to be calling uh, Travis's brother, Luke, and we're going to be talking about the criminal investigation we've opened into his fraudulent use of the punch card. It's another prospector prank call on Rock 107. Okay, hello. Yeah, I'm calling for Luke Minish. This is him. Luke, my name's Rick. I'm with the Department of Investigations for and I want to know if you just had a quick second. We're doing some follow-up on a criminal investigation we're in the middle of right now. And I need to get a statement from you if you have just a second. Sure, that's fine. Okay. Do I have it correct that on the 23rd you were at our location uh, near the mall about noon? Yes, that's right. I believe so. I was there. All right. Well, we have video of you obtaining one of our turkey subs. Yes, that's right. That was me. Then it shows that you used a punch card for your purchase, and it was the fifth punch, so you were able to get a free sub for that meal deal. That's right. My brother gave me that. Okay, that's where we have the problem. You didn't purchase the first four subs, and as part of our investigation, we want to make you aware of the fact that you're now in violation of our policy, and you fraudulently obtained a sub sandwich with a punch card that didn't belong to you. And because of that, we're going to have to bring you in, ask you to submit some questioning here at the uh, Department of Investigations. You know what? This sounds totally ridiculous. I was under the assumption this was a coupon and applicable. To well, what gave you that assumption? Uh, the fact that it said coupon on the... Uh, it doesn't say coupon. You know, no, it's a punch card. It doesn't say coupon. It it says right on it, with your fifth purchase, a free sub. Okay, right. you know what, so, sir? Did you purchase the first four subs? No. That's correct. So you didn't actually earn that benefit. Listen, sir, does it say specifically there on the punch card that the first four have to be purchased by the same person? Here's what the thing says. It says if you make four purchases, you'll benefit from the fifth purchase by receiving a free sub. You. So it's implied that the purchase be made by the person who obtained the punches before. Do you understand? So let me get this straight. You guys are investigating me for a free sub? We're investigating you for a fraudulent purchase. And now that you've committed fraud, you'll be judged accordingly. Now, look, we can handle it personally whoa, 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 or amongst... Listen, if I got to contact a lawyer or something, I, that's something I may have to do. But this whole thing sounds totally ridiculous. The fact that Well, it's not, ridi it's not ridiculous when you're going out there obtaining free food you haven't earned. Is that right? That's correct, sir. But, you know, I think... It's okay, can we run a business just giving out free food? I mean, what if everybody came in and committed fraud? How long would we have the doors you open? You know, if it's really that big of an issue, I don't know if you guys should be offering this hundred card if you know well we, do, like we do it on the honor system so let me get this straight you're the sub sandwich detective that, that's right well i'm the fraud detective yeah sub sandwiches hey you want to handle this correctly we can go through the authorities and you can go that route but what i would recommend you come to our department of investigation we'll get your fingerprinted we'll no, get no, your no, photo no, no. i'm not going anywhere i'm not getting any fingerprints taken well, then we're going to be forced to send out our patrol to apprehend you and bring you back to our cell where you'll be spending a 24-hour hold. are you kidding me there's a jail you've got to be kidding that's me. right you can go willingly or you can go the hard way it's really up to you absolutely not will i be okay. getting fingerprints well maybe you shouldn't be committing fraud on subs that i was given and was not privy to the rules right about you were not authorized to use it because you didn't spend the money okay so look totally you can spend the night in jail or we can charge you with habeas process i am not going to jail for a punch card do you want to be subject to that I am not going to be subject to nothing I habeas process listen do you know what the penalty for habeas process is for what for habeas prosy. You know what the penalty for that is? I do not. I don't know what that is. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's it's a prank call me and on you right now. <laughs> oh, man. Are you serious? Your brother Travis emailed us and said he gave you a punch card, he said. <laughs> oh, man. I thought I was getting arrested for a punch card. It's crazy. Oh, Life's pretty tough right now. There's plenty of bad news, but it's not all bad. It's time. For the brighter side of Prospector on Rock 107. A central Pennsylvania man and his 17-year-old stepson ran into their neighbor's burning house Monday morning and got their neighbor out. They also saved two dogs. The woman and the stepson were treated at the hospital for some burns. A reporter asked the dad why they risked their lives to do it. He said his son is a very brave kid, adding, quote, we care about our neighbors. We care about this neighborhood. Thanks. We needed that. The brighter side of Prospector on Rock 107. It is an important day. Yes, it is. It is World Mental Health Day, so we're doing something 
positive. Yeah, I need a little positivity in my life, and so could you with all the bad news that's going on in the world and everything with hurricanes and everything else. So we're looking for you to tell me something good. The good news in your world is what we're looking to hear this morning. Uh, rock lines one triple eight rock one zero seven open mic, and of course you can text one eight 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 seven six two five one zero seven to tell us uh, something good as well. And uh, I think we got a text already this morning, so that's awesome. In fact, there it is. See, uh, how about this? You ready? Daughter just got ultrasound. My granddaughter is developing great. Woohoo! Yeah, that's what we're talking about this morning. Tell us something good. No matter big nor small, Wayne from your Facebook said, Facing the Giants is back together. I don't know about anyone else, but that makes me feel pretty good. Yeah, congratulations, Wayne. I always like Facing the Giants. Good little band there. That's pretty good. Hmm? Cheryl from your Instagram said, I get to be a grandmother really soon. Ah, see? Tell me something good. Nice. Jeff from my Instagram said, Started a new job, more money, and 100% better than my last job. Yeah, see? There you go. When you get a new job and it's a little more scratch and everything's... Oh, that doesn't that just make you feel wonderful? Yeah. That's what... Tell me something good. ...is all about this morning. Uh, another one on the rock lines here. Rock 107. Tell me something good. Hey, I have something good. Let me hear it. I'm actually in remission from cancer. That's not good. That is friggin' great. That is fantastic. That is awesome. Tell me something good. I love hearing stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, that's amazing. I, and I know I come off as Mr. Negativity and all that kind of stuff, but I, you see the smile on my face yeah. here. We're talking about it. Tell me something good here at Rock 107. Tony said, I've pushed off major back surgery for years, and I finally had it a month ago. I feel great, and I'm ready for the 2025 concert season. Okay, very cool. And good, good for you, man. Mm-hmm. Pam said, I beat cancer this year. Tell me something I'm good. Good. Here, I that's know. a wonderful theme to be sensing. We're looking for those good news, those wonderful things, that great stuff in your life. What do we got? No matter how big or small, Fred from your Facebook said, 23rd wedding anniversary is on Sunday. Hello, Rock 107. Tell me something good. Hey, the Mets are going to the championship series. Oh, that is awesome. Thank you so much. It made me feel better. You feel better? I do. Thank you for... Tell me something good. Ladies and gentlemen, grab the kids, call your neighbors, and gather around the radio. It's now time to announce the winner of Prospector's Jam Bag of the Day, as decided by you at rock107.com. We uncover the most baffling, ridiculous, pathetic, cockeyed, laughable, preposterous blunders in the world of misdeeds. Nominee number one. You can be a yam bag at any age, I guess. Although for kids under 16, I'm guessing they're surrounded by stupid adults to pick this stuff up so soon. A 10-year-old boy has been arrested and booked at a juvenile detention center after he drove a stolen car through a school playground in Minneapolis. And it was not an empty area. It was packed with dozens of kids and adults at the time who could have easily been mowed down. Thankfully, no one was hurt. It's unclear if the kid stole the car or if he got it from someone else, but sadly, it wouldn't be surprising if he did steal it. He's actually been arrested twice before for stealing cars and apparently a suspect in more than a dozen other cases. Again, he's 10. The boy's family is reportedly cooperating with police and recognizing that he and they need help. Nominee number two. Here's the latest celebrity legal trouble. Cookie Monster got caught speeding in Germany. Cops in Dortmund, Germany, released a traffic cam shot of a Muppet doing 60 in a 50 mile per hour zone. Although, is he really a Muppet? Anyway, there's no way he could deny it. You can clearly see it's him behind the wheel of an Audi. Now, it's not clear who the person in the Cookie Monster costume is, but it happened on September 20th. People think they staged it and got caught on purpose because they knew the photo would be funny. Cops aren't laughing, though. They put out a statement that said driving with a mask on is dangerous, and it wouldn't be so funny if you crashed and killed someone. The person could be facing multiple fines for speeding and driving with a mask on. The two fines combined would be about $100. And the winner is... The 10-year-old who drove a stolen car through a playground packed with kids. You are the yam bag of the day. And I know you're just a kid, but this is beyond the pale. You'll move on to Friday's Yam Bag of the Week competition. Keep it here Friday morning for all the nominees for Prospector's Yam Bag of the Week right here on Rock 107. Thanks for listening to Prospector's Prime Cuts podcast. Be sure to catch us live weekdays from 5.30 to 10 a.m. on Rock 107 or online at rock107.com or the Rock 107 app. A free download for your Android or iPhone. Subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher Radio, or wherever you get your podcasts so you never miss Prospector's Prime Cuts.